hey hello friend uh, welcome back to this uh, series uh, i think uh, we have started the installation all the prerequisite summon features uh, for the uh, which is required for the ccm 2012 installation so i think it's a done installation succeed uh, for on ccm dash uh, 01 uh, this is the system so i need to close it okay so i need to open the powershell command and if you look at uh, i have this uh, uh, prerequisites uh, script so let me install uh, I mean let me try to run this so um, yeah it is started all validation is there and the primary site so I am just install it so detect OS build version is yeah it is started now so it is uh, skip role already installed because uh, if uh, in the last video we have uh, manual installed uh, uh, .NET framework 3.5 so that's the reason it uh, skipped okay and installing role that is the file server uh, it might be required the file server also that's the reason uh, it is installing and uh, skipping role or uh, the background intelligent uh, transfer services bits also i have done it and these are the is our extension that also i have done that's the reason it is saying already installed I think you understand right so this uh, script is really scalable and uh, very helpful to you know uh, gathering all the information even you don't know what uh, prerequisites are required this script will help you to complete uh, all these things uh, 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 for the SCCM prerequisites right uh, either uh, you can run this script before you know install all the feature otherwise you can install the feature also these are the feature requires it is mentioned also you can note down if you want you can take the screenshot of my uh, video I mean uh, for this uh, thing or you can install manually also uh, because it will taking time to install uh, the through the script and it may be required some download file also but it's okay no so you can manually install run the script if anything missing then it will automatically install yeah it skip because it's uh, already uh, we have installed right those are not installed uh, also required so it is installing if you uh, share installing roles dot net extensibility extensibility 4.5 it's required that done this also as asp.net 4.5 required that also an ip and domain restriction is required which we didn't do that that's what is uh, installing yeah yeah once it is completed then we can go at uh, for the sccm install but not that first after completion of the you know uh, prerequisites then we will go to the SQL in SQL server installation then we will go to the uh, SCCM but even though after installation of prerequisites let me check whether one more thing for this uh, to integrate with the Active Directory uh, extend uh, schema need to be extend that is doing or not this script I don't know uh, that need to be checked okay later let's uh, let's see uh, these things are installing automatically uh, yes sir. yes verified install verified install See, there is a lot of things we required right we have done in one sort only yeah yes uh, it I think it almost done successful install all required Windows feature correct so this uh, if this is came then your uh, prerequisite parts is done okay uh, so then what we will do nothing right it's a such prerequisites is done so uh, just minimize these things and minimize these things uh, now we, we need to check whether uh, uh, schema extension activity schema uh, extension be required so go to the DC how you can check that uh, yeah it's login all that right so here open the manager console okay uh, and just uh, unpin it here go to the uh, ADS I edit uh, right click connect to connect okay uh, what is the EDSI edit uh, um, you can check on my earlier video but for the understanding I can tell you EDSI edit is a uh, options where you can um, 
customize i mean uh, edit your uh, low level object okay so here the system container is there okay in the system container we need to check it is created not system management container no it's not created that means uh, the the script file is not uh, doing the you know this this uh, system container is not creating which is required for the ccm 12 to integrate with the active directory so for that we have to be create uh, just uh, right click over the system go to the new object and here the container is there click the next here you need to type the name what i exactly doing okay s y s t e m management m a -N. system managements okay this is the perfect system management do the next finish if you go to here yeah system management okay see if you see nothing is there right okay for that we need to extend the schema and one more thing you need to give the rights to this one uh, go to the security okay and the security it and here Go to the object and click the computer name because we need to add the SCCM. Uh, our what is the name of server? This is SCCM. Uh, just go to the command host name. Host name. It's a name of host name of your SCCM server. Okay. So go to the DC and give the rights. Okay, check name. Yes. Okay give the full control okay and go to the advance yeah it is hanged uh, sorry for the slow you know like uh, the system having the right, uh, 2 GB RAM but why I don't know yep uh, it's okay no need to give anything here okay it's perfect yeah uh, you can add over here like uh, yeah uh, you can do one thing like uh, it's you need to give the full control this also I don't know yeah, why it is hang We have selected yeah this one oh I'm sorry uh, this one at here allow hmm. Um, okay so here all this thing you need to check and get the full control okay okay and press okay and apply okay, okay. you need to give rights to the uh, I mean you need to give rights for uh, SCCM server that part is done so now we have we extend the schema how you extend the schema uh, if you open I have already uh, kept the SCCM uh, pre-required I mean SCCM uh, setup here okay In SCCM setup you go to SCCM setup I don't know yaar, why it is slow very uh, here you have to be uh, go to win 64 the name is uh, uh, extend uh, sorry I am wrong. the name is 
ext name is extend schema ext yeah uh, here you will get extend uh, schema this one okay so uh, just take the path open command prompt you have to find a cmd here and right click run as administrator and cd past okay and here what is the name it's a ext ad schema sch right and just press enter it will extend the schema if you show here ah uh, yes it is successfully successfully extended the active directory schema how you know that if you go to the uh, c drive see here the result you will get whether is extended or not yeah so this thing should be come after extended the schema then it is successful otherwise not so now you can go to here okay and uh, you can check where you need to check go to the edc edit and uh, here system container and the system management where uh, system management it will uh, extend all these things uh, will take time I think okay we need to wait for some time not an issue uh, then schema has been extended and now the time to install the SQL server um, okay don't know this parts okay so thanks for watching this video and if you like my video please thumbs up uh, and uh, you can subscribe my channel to getting new videos on your mailbox so see you again on the next video till that time bye bye take care